welcome back to my channel. Today, I am really excited because we are making something delicious. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make bacon wrapped armadillo eggs. So, what an armadillo egg is, is basically a jalapeno that is hollowed out, stuffed with cheeses, wrapped in sausage, and then wrapped in bacon, and then basted in barbecue sauce. Yes. It is real and it is a delicacy. It is actually pretty simple to make, so we're gonna prep them and then today we're gonna cook them on our smoker. However, if you don't have a smoker, you can cook them in the oven as well, so don't you worry. So without further ado, let me show you the ingredients you're going to need. The ingredients you're going to need for the armadillo eggs is about a pound of ground pork. However, our grocery store was out of any small packages, so I did have to grab a little bit extra. 12 slices of bacon, six large jalapenos, eight ounces of cream cheese. I grabbed this chive and onion flavored cream cheese from HEB. Four ounces of shredded cheddar cheese, some barbecue sauce, and your favorite rub. We're gonna begin by combining our eight ounces of cream cheese, our four ounces of shredded cheddar cheese, and two tablespoons of our favorite rub into a bowl. Now we're just gonna mix all of this together really well. Now that we've got our cheese mixed up, we're gonna set this aside and prepare the jalapenos. I have six pretty good sized jalapenos. We're gonna wanna remove the stems and the seeds. So we're gonna cut off the top, and then I have this special jalapeno corer tool, and I got it off Amazon, it was like seven or eight bucks. I'll link it down below, but you just stick it inside and you're able to scrape out the seeds and membranes so you get a clean seedless jalapeno. Let's get to it. We're gonna slice off the stem of the jalapeno. And then, so how this tool works is you just stick it right inside and start twisting. And you are able to pull out all the membrane and seeds from inside the jalapeno. Look at how easy that is. Makes this so much simpler. Highly recommend this tool, y'all. Now that I've gotten all of my jalapenos hollowed out, we're gonna grab our cheese mixture and a small spoon and stuff the jalapenos full of our cheese. Just use the spoon and slowly start stuffing it in. It's probably gonna take a couple of spoonfuls to fill this all the way up. And there we go, we have the first jalapeno stuffed with cheese. Now I'm gonna finish doing the rest of them. All of our jalapenos are now stuffed with cheese. So I am going to take my ground pork get a small handful and wrap it completely around the jalapeno. I've got a small handful of the ground pork and I'm just gonna kind of flatten it out, set the jalapeno on top and completely cover it. Grab a little extra if you need it. You don't want it to be super thick on here, but you want it totally wrapped in the ground pork. There we go guys, the first one is done. I'm gonna continue to do these with the rest of the peppers. Here is what the jalapenos look like once you have the ground pork wrapped around them. You want every layer of this seasoned, so I'm going back in with my Code 3 Spices 5-0 rub. It is sweet and zesty, so I'm just gonna do a small dusting of this on the outside of the sausage. And then I'll flip them over and get the other size seasoned as well. Now to make these puppies even more sinful, we're gonna wrap each one in two slices of bacon. I also have some toothpicks right here to secure them just in case the bacon isn't staying put. So let's get to wrapping. We've got our slice of bacon and we're just going to start wrapping it around this whole thing. And there we go, y'all. We have got our armadillo egg. Here is the final product in all their glory. Look at these babies. Ooh, I think just one of these should fill you right on up. So the final step is I'm gonna take more of my rub 
and hit them with just one more layer of seasoning and then they're gonna be ready to go on the smoker. Oh my gosh, these look incredible. So I ended up having some leftover meat and I had some extra jalapenos. So I made a couple of extra. Some of them don't have bacon because I ran out of bacon, but we are about to head outside and throw these on our smoker. Fear not, if you don't have a smoker, you can pop these in the oven at 400 degrees and cook them for approximately 30 to 40 minutes or until they reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Let's head on outside and get these in the smoker. All right, y'all, we are out here. I am using my Pits and Spits pellet grill. We have it preheated to 250 degrees, and we're gonna go ahead and stick these on the top rack. It's probably gonna take approximately two to two and a half hours to get these to cook. We want them to reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees. So at the two hour mark, we'll probe them with our meat thermometer and see how they are doing. Look at these guys. Oh, these are gonna be so, so good. All right, let's get this closed up and let these babies start cooking. Also, we've got a pork loin going down there and that looks pretty phenomenal too. Oh, y'all, this smoker is awesome. We'll see y'all in just a little while. When they're done, yay. All right, y'all, it has been right at two hours. I just used my meat thermometer and these things are done. So what I did was I just cranked my temperature of my pellet grill to 400 degrees. I have a bowl with some barbecue sauce. I have my basting brush and I am just going to brush some barbecue sauce on top of all of these babies. These are looking awesome, y'all. Look at this. Yum. Once I get these all covered with barbecue sauce, I'm gonna let them sit on here on the 400 degree grill for about five minutes, and then these are going to be ready to come off the grill and then go right in my belly. These look amazing. It's been about five or six minutes and we're gonna go ahead and take these puppies off. So let's open this up. They look phenomenal. Let's go ahead and take these off the grill. Ooh, yum. I really hate to brag, but dang, I did a darn good job on these babies. All right, y'all, we've got to go ahead and slice into one of these guys. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna say these turned out awesome. Let's let them cool off for a second and we'll give it a taste test. I have got to say that these bacon wrapped armadillo eggs look absolutely incredible. Now it is time to give them a taste test. Cheers. Oh my God. This is phenomenal. All right, y'all. All I have to say is you have got to give these a try for yourself. They are so flavorful, so, so good. So I hope that you guys enjoyed me sharing this bacon wrapped armadillo eggs recipe. If you're looking for a printable recipe, I will leave it linked down below in the description. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.